Hello my dear hamster and this is Homo Hamster and welcome to my channel. First of all, I gotta say sorry for not being here for I guess more than a year if I'm not mistaken and I just want to say I was really depressed. I couldn't handle watching my face on the camera, I couldn't handle drawing or painting anything and I do not identify myself as a person of art but as a, if you're a person of art you probably know that you need a lot of inspiration to be in a good mood in order to draw something, do something, create something, yeah? And I wasn't able to do that. And I'm really sorry, especially for my subscribers and people who were waiting for the video. And finally, I'm here. Let's not talk for too much. If you watched the first part of the video, you probably know what I'm going to do here. But if, for the people who watch this video for the first time, basically, I'm going to test whether the tutorial from the TikTok is good or not. So let's start from the tutorial number one. Before we start, I'd like to say sorry for my bad English, which became even worse since my last videos. And I just need a little feedback. Do you like the subtitles or not? I've been working on them day and night and I'm just so exhausted. I just need a little feedback. I will really appreciate that. Thank you. I decided to start from one of the most common things people draw, the portraits. And I always said it, and I will say again, that I'm not a professional artist. I'm just an amateur, and I'm still in the process of learning how to draw. What am I gonna do here? I am going to draw the portrait of the beautiful girl here, and it is the before. Then I will watch the tutorial, and I will draw another portrait. Then we will compare, and we will see if I have any results or not. For example, I always start drawing from the circle, vertically horizontal line but to be honest i have no clue why i do that i'm sorry it just i've always done that and maybe it makes me seem professional but i'm not so i expect the tutorial to explain me everything if not everything at least a little bit that thing that i don't understand after watching the tutorial please pause the video and write in the comments if you like the tutorial or not and then watch my verdict you want to be an artist but you don't even know where to start from let me show you first things first if i draw some random lines can you replicate these most artists approach this by visually measuring everything out so for example i have the line split into three sections and the other line is crossing at the first dot so now that we know that this line is completely vertical we can just easily place this one in and we're gonna have it be parallel so we make sure that it's the same angle remember math class this angle is the same as this one so we end up with the exact same image Another small concept that you need to understand is shapes. A lot of artists use geometry when they're drawing. So for example, you can easily see that we got a pentagon in here. By using these shapes, I can easily replicate what I'm doing. Sometimes it's going to be a little bit off, but it comes with practice, but you get the general idea. So now I'm going to show you how I use the concepts that we just learned and apply them to my drawing. I'm just going to fill in my biggest shapes. So instead of worrying about whatever the hell this shape is, we're going to worry about the space that we got right here so we got just about that much of a canvas empty we're gonna use negative space to fill in the shapes so that we have like the general shape we're just gonna follow the same rules but on the inside we'll start to see some more shapes so for example you can see how his entire face is literally a square so you can fit that in right there oh no I don't know where to put the nose hmm let me use the concept look at that look at that straight to the corner look at that follows the line now we're just going to replicate everything exactly as we see it remember how i said to use shapes yeah this is a great example of where i would need to use some shapes right here here's the nose for the eyes i love to create the entire shape of the shadow so this is what i see and we can kind of maybe turn this into that kind of shape so now within those shapes, we're going to create more shapes, okay? Okay, so at one point you're going to get tired of doing shapes and you're going to have a big mess, so you're going to want to erase and we're going to start rendering everything now. Rendering is the exact same concept except we're following the actual lines and we're going to try to replicate those onto the image. And your first couple times are not going to be perfect, so it's going to take a lot of practice, but it is a really great method to use. Do have the option to keep breaking it down into shapes if that's what makes you comfortable but i like to freehand everything after a certain point and when it comes to rendering i like to include very important elements so for example this beard certain curves in it are just extremely interesting and i want to include those into my artwork so i'm literally just gonna add it i don't know how else to explain it and eventually you're gonna end up with a photo Woo! look at this 
So if you like this video, please like and follow, and then I'm gonna be posting more shit like this, so let me know what else you wanna see. Before watching the rest of the video, could you please pause it here and write me in the comments if you like the first tutorial based on your criteria and why. Uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe on my channel. Let's continue. She didn't lie when she said that it will not be easy in the first and the second time because I was struggling a lot. I was drawing so many details, but to be honest, I was so shocked by the result because like the first portrait came out so good. As you can see, I was drawing it in such precise details. Everything was so easy to understand. And the concept is also very easy and very convenient. I've never drawn something like that before because I don't like drawing anything in such precise details. But the girl came out almost like in the photo. So I even thought maybe it was just a luck. And I tried to draw another portrait and it came out also very good. I cannot say that this tutorial explains everything anatomically correctly, but this technique can definitely help you to copy any photo you want, because I could do that for the second time, and maybe I can try even it for the third time. The second tutorial is going to show us how to draw feet, and I'm sorry in advance, I had to remove the sound from this video because it had some copyrighted music and I don't want any issues with YouTube, I'm sorry. And I chose this tutorial because I'm very bad at drawing feet, the feet were never the focus of mine and I do not consider it as the important part of my drawings, because I usually draw portraits or body, that's why it's my weak point. And as you can see, the creator says the keys to practice and stay consistent consistent daily, which I cannot disagree with, uh, that's correct. However, I did not find this tutorial as the useful one, I'm sorry for the cockerel, because uh, like you can see, I draw feet with no reference and it looks awful, plain, uh, flat, any words, any bad words you want to use for that. Then I tried some tricks from this tutorial and it came out maybe a little bit better, but uh, the creator just showed us how he or she draws the feet, but did not explain anything anatomically. Uh, that's why I do not find it useful. But you can have maybe a different opinion. What about you? I tried to have a little experiment with the third tutorial. So I chose the one which explains us how to use the colors and how to draw with them since I have zero experience. And I tried only once and it came out so bad I like quit immediately and I feel more comfortable with just a simple pencil. However, it was a big challenge for me. So I thought, why not? It is an easy eye drawing tutorial and this is a major trust the process. So I guess I shouldn't be too strict with this one. And I like the idea of drawing the eye because people like drawing eyes. It's not that difficult and it's very interesting. However, I expected something about color theory explanation, but maybe I came to the wrong place and I should have watched the YouTube tutorial instead. The eye came out very good. I'm not gonna lie. However, I struggled a lot. And as you can see, my first attempt was so bad. It seems like a person has eye problems, major eye problems. So I tried the second time and it came out much better. But maybe because I learned on my mistakes and it came out more intuitively, I started to understand how to use the colors. However, you can probably have the same problems as I had, since I have a very limited color palette with the markers. And if you have more options of the skin colors, maybe more brown, more green, they will be much better. The last thing that I wanted to show you in this video is a tutorial from me. However, I cannot call it a tutorial, maybe just a little advice, since I've got many questions about how come I learn so fast. So the first thing you should do is find the reference and copy that drawing. Try to redraw. Then find mistakes in your redrawing. Try to draw the same image for the second time, for the third time, maybe for the fourth time. And then memorize your mistakes, fix them, and try to draw the same image without looking at that image. And if you still have many mistakes, you can try to draw the same image for the fifth time, for the sixth time. So as you can see, the woman in the green, I've tried to draw her maybe for the second or the third time. And the same with the second woman, however, it was much more difficult since I'm not that good at the back postures. The best advice I can give you is to focus not on your style and many other drawings and copying them, but try to focus on only one figure and master it, since even Bruce Lee said that I fear not the man who has practiced 10.000 kicks once, 
but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10.000 times. So this is it. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel, like this video and comment whether you like this tutorial or not, whether you like my drawings or not, and so on. Just tell me what you really prefer. And maybe you have some suggestions about other videos. So thank you. See you next time.